This is the first of the functional group uh, slides. Uh, this one is the only one that actually isn't a functional group. So you can see there's no functional uh, group listed out there or uh, a name for it. Uh, we will normally um, use the homologous series name for it, which I'll go into the terminology in a second. Uh, but some of them definitely you'll need to know the specialized name for it as well. Okay, so first of all, this is uh, the most important one because this is the uh, stems that you have to know first before you progress any further. Uh, so you need to know that one is meth, eth2, prop3, bup4, pent5, hex6, hept7, oct8, 9, non, and dec10. There are things like dec8 and octopus, hopefully, uh, but some of them you'll just have to plain straight memorize. Uh, and so an alkane is basically uh, each carbon has four bonds and it's completely uh, saturated. They're all single bonds. Uh, so this one here, uh, it's completely saturated with the hydrogens. Uh, and so the only difference in these things, as with all the homologous groups, um, is you're just adding an extra, um, an extra carbon to the chain. So an extra CH you can see is being added progressively across. Okay, uh, and so the update here is about the formula, which is uh, jumping the gun just a little bit because the next two slides are alkenes and alkynes. Um, and so the alkanes you've got here, and then you've got the alkenes, which is uh, removing a hydrogen. Uh, and so the hydrogen uh, goes off as H2. Uh, so it kind of looks like that. Uh, and then these other two go and form this other bond and then it does it again. So now you've got the triple bond each time losing two hydrogens. Uh, and so you can see the general formula is um, the C is always N uh, and then this one's double. Um, if you're gonna go in this direction where well, you need to add two or in this direction minus two. So in each, each time you're just progressively minusing two or, or progressively adding two uh, to this two N. Uh, and so that's uh, an updated better way to learn how to uh, remember the formula because it's a common multiple choice question or short answer question, unfortunately. Uh, it'd be nice if it's just in the data booklet as with all the other formulas. Okay, um, so that is that there. That's just the terminology. Hydrocarbons are only hydrogen and carbon. Uh, homologous series I've already talked about. Uh, you'll learn a whole heap of functional groups soon and all they're doing is just adding an extra CH2. Uh, the molecular formula is what you're used to and uh, empirical formula we will talk about soon because that's how we experimentally determine substances and then we work from there to get to the molecular formula. Uh, the structural formula is what you want to write in your exam. Uh, you can do a condensed uh, and you can even do things like this. Um, that's a, a condensed form as well. But uh, in the exam, make sure you always write every single atom and every single bond uh, and potentially uh, even the lone pairs uh, depending on the question, but for organic chemistry, we won't have the lone pairs on there, uh, just for the standard writing of organic compounds. Um, the kinks uh, is what I usually do in, do in class because I'm a bit lazy, and that means a carbon in each one. Uh, but if you do have a functional group on the end, uh, let's just keep it the same, such as OH, that's actually coming from this one. So that's actually a, a three carbon chain, not a four carbon chain, and there's no carbon at that one there, uh, or even this here, there's a carbon in there. Um, there's quite a few good questions that in, that cover a lot of um, misconceptions on the website. Uh, and so you can do some online quizzes for each of the different type of homologous group. And I've care thought carefully about those over many years to write those uh, quiz sets. So I recommend using those. Um, the alkyl groups now. Uh, and so if the alkyl becomes actually a branch, uh, we still keep the same stem. We just add an all to it. Uh, this will make sense a little bit more when we start doing the naming. Uh, so the overall summary of the naming, this is a bit of a simplification, but we don't uh, do too many things more complicated than this. Uh, the only thing I would probably add, unfortunately, so you should definitely watch this video uh, that comes up, is you try and go alphabetical um, with the groups, okay? Uh, so first of all, you go for the longest chain, uh, and so you name that chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so there'll be hex. Uh, you find any attached groups, uh, so let's just put a CH3 on here. Um, we're going to count from this end to make it a 2-methyl uh, rather than a, if we go from the other direction, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're not going to make it a 4-methyl. Uh, we've already called it a hexane. Um, locate uh, each group. Uh, name and locate, I just did that. Um, 
separate letters and numbers with a dash. That's a letter and a number, so I'll put a two. So it's two dash methyl hexane. Uh, separate numbers, two numbers with a comma. Keep it alphabetical. Um, we'll extend on this summary just a little tiny bit as we go through the slides uh, and give one or two extra pointers when it comes along to different using different functional groups. So this is just a, a summary introduction that will get a little bit more complicated as we go along. Okay. Oh, and there we go. Um, and so there's a, there's an example there that you could pause and have a look at, uh, but definitely recommend doing the quizzes. Um, I've got quite a few different types of combinations that are, that are could be asked. Okay. Um, cyclo is still in your, um, that could still be asked. So if they do link up in a ring, uh, give it, put the word cyclo in there. Um, start uh, here because uh, it's better than starting here. Uh, instead of giving this a one ethyl and a three, three, that adds up to seven. This only adds up to five. So we're trying to keep the numbers as small as possible. And lastly, uh, just because this happens, uh, the word ISO pops up a lot. So just be aware that's just uh, an end, an end that has these two methyls coming off. Okay.